While the mother lion and her son are working around, then the African wild dog suddenly surrounds the two lions. Not to lose his face in front of the cameraman, he drags the wild dog down within a bite. But the wild dogs are very united. They rush to bite the lion. That caused him to back up and fend. The wild dogs didn't dare to attack again. Maybe they just want to show the cameraman how strong they are. And the lion almost died. It was so pee. Hey guys, welcome back to Wild Thing. Today, we will learn about a species with the strongest biased force of any predator mammal. This is also a species that only begins its hunt after hearing enough of a companion sneezes as a collective vote. The species ranked in the top 10 fattest running mammals globally is an animal that cannot be tamed. Many people have tried to tame this kind, but they never succeeded. And in particular, each individual has a different spot. No animal resembles anyone and human fingerprint. This species also has a very bizarre habit, which is swallowing food and vomiting to eat again. They even sometimes roll over the vomit first. They stand up to eat all the mess on the ground. And with this horn, <coughs> you think it is some kind of dog, not a mastiff. Or does mastiff dog or a wolf? All of us will learn about a wild animal named the African wild dog. Although they have a dog body, their hooves are like horses, and they specialize in poking around other species, having a lot of influence in the wild, like badgers, crocodiles, hyenas. If you are ready, press the like button. Do not hesitate to go to Africa to learn exciting things about African wild dogs. The African wild dog has the scientific name of Lycan Pictus, also known as Painted Wolf or Cape Hunting Dog. Called Tattoo Dogs for showing their authority, but when look at the modeled hair, it seems like it's burnt or like meeting a new apprentice barber guy. African wild dogs look very similar to hyenas in appearance, but their personalities are entirely different. Hyenas are species just waiting for a chance to plunder the food from other species. They really crave a good meal, but they don't really want to hunt. African wild dogs are much fairer because they think they can eat if they work. The African dog has a short and small size. They are only from 60 to 75 centimeters tall, from 71 to 112 centimeters length, and a tail length is from 29 to 41 centimeters. The adult dog's body weight ranges from 18 to 36 kilograms. But African wild dogs are honored to receive an Oscar for their cavalry as the most skilled and dangerous hunters in the wild because the average hunting success rate is typically 60%, sometimes up to 90%. That is an extremely high number compared to the lion with a success rate of only 27% and 30%. This accidentally led the stabbed assassin to receive the Golden Raspberry Award. What? What the fuck? So, why do African wild dogs have such high rate of hunting success? That is because they have good coordination with their accomplices while hunting. Before catching the prey, they spread out to surround and target. The African wild dogs constantly marched to let the other members know both their locations and their prey. One wheel broke the prey, the other moved forward to block the way, and the others light up. Their purpose is to separate the predetermined target to separate them from the herd. The wild dogs surround the flanks and front close to prevent the prey from escaping. Their intelligence and coordination, teamwork allow them to adapt to changing scenarios during the hunt and get the best results. They are agile hunters. Most predators rely on their disguise to hide in their surroundings, silently approaching and defeating prey, but African wild dogs rarely have to use this tactic. They are born to concur targets with chases needing high stamina ability. Specifically, with brighter eyes and impressive durability, African wild dogs can continuously chase a kilometer and the fastest speed they can reach is 66 km per hour. Usually, they will pursue the prey until the prey is exhausted, collapsing and unable to fight back, then eating it afterward. 
Sometimes they wait for the prey to be exhausted and then wait for the right moment to snap the prey up like this. They have a unique social hierarchy. The social structure of a herd of African wild dogs is strictly hierarchical. However, when a new litter is born, the babies are given priority. When hunting, they divide meat from top to bottom, and the other's dog have to wait patiently, standing guard until their turn to eat. They rarely fight each other for food due to this ranking system. When dog is sick, injured, or old, and even able to hunt, the heart's remaining members take care of and raise them. Oh shoot, what a freaking jaw! Look at him! They possess a mighty bite of 240,000 kilograms per square meter, which is enough to bite the femur in one hit instantly. A stray dog's lower jaw is also larger than a dosmatic dog's. Its molars are intended to pull the meat of the bones. The favorite prey of African wild dogs is impala cousins, sometimes wild boar or wild calf, zebra, hare. Medium-sized prey is usually killed in two minutes, five minutes, while larger prey like widow beast can take half an hour to pull down. African wild dogs are only frightening when hunting swarms, but what about hunting alone? When an African wild dog is confronting a wild boar, a boar would say, Come and get it, dude! When the wild dog had not yet answered, there was another wild boar rushing to attack. Fortunately, the African wild dog can quickly escape. Watch the video up to this point, I'm sure you will wonder how dangerous African wild dogs are, then which species on the African savannas can make them flinch? First of all, the lions. There is no creature in the African steppe that can cause so many deaths for African wild dogs. The more lions have, the lower the population density of African wild dogs will be. So, if there exists the African wild dog, why is there the existence of lions? Despite being so scared, many times the African wild dogs dare to sneak lions like this. The mother lion and the young lion walk around, then the African wild dog suddenly surrounds the two lions. Not to lose his face in front of the cameraman, he drags the wild dog down within a bite. But the wild dogs are very united, and they rush to bite the lion. That caused him to back up and fend. The wild dogs didn't dare to attack again. Maybe they just want to show the cameraman how strong they are, and the lion almost died. It was so pitiful. Now, give a round of applause for the bravery of the wild dogs. Second, the hyenas. This animal is known to forage by stealing the prey of all the animals far more than self-hunting. It is not afraid of any animal, even if it is a leopard or a lion. Because they coexist on Africa's same vast steppes, hyenas and wild dogs often encounter each other, scramble, and fight for food. They always find a chance to kill each other when they clash. And this is such a meeting like a hyena gets lost in the pack of the wild dogs, and the stray dogs use a siege tactic. They bite on the hyena's butt and avoid hyena's bite. The stray dogs make it hard for the hyena to resist, but the hyena is not a gentle animal. It comes back to continually attack the stray dogs and wait for the stray dogs' loopholes to escape. In the end, it drove the stray dogs aside and fled to the amazement of the wild dogs. Sometimes, wild dogs happily flew to go out looking for new challenges. It discovers a honey badger immediately. The seed tactic is applied. They try to attack the honey badger. A honey badger runs while avoiding the snaps from the wild dogs. Well, 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 a honey badger stumbles on the grass and it fell and rolled on its face and it still gets up and runs. The stray dogs still try to grab their bite. The honey badger tries to fight back and escape from wild dog's pursuit. The African wild dog is truly fearless. They would like to attack any kind of animal. Let's see. Here, alligator, king of the swamp. See if wild dogs dare to do anything? Are wild dogs coming down to drink water or challenge the crocodile? Shh, a crocodile rushed out from the river. Don't you know who I am? The wild dog startled to step back. A wild dog was coming to probe. The crocodile also came to attack, but the front was too crowded, so the crocodile turned his head home for safety. Having the advantage, the wild dog still stubbornly tried to bite the female crocodile, but could not. That's so funny. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
and this is Baboon. He's walking, and maybe a pack of wild dogs is trying to attack him. Perhaps Baboon also felt them unwelcome, so he runs to attack each wild dog, making them not dare to counterattack, just running and running. And at the end of the video are the game of African wild dogs with the two of the world's largest terrestrial animals. The ones that the wild dogs do not dare to get close to, they can only avoid and run away. The video is over. If you have something is interesting about African wild dogs that we missed, please comment below this video. Thank you and see you in the next videos.